Welcome to this last lecture. In this lecture, we are going to compare two strings entered by the user. So, open DOS box and I hope also this course will be amazing for you. So, first of all, add it. str cam cm p dot asm so, sorry for that asm so here is our program model dot stack 100h dot data and str1 input db enter first string you can mention characters 5 And at the end of the string like this copy this one paste it four time str input to enter second string so same and not same and same means not same so both strings are same so you can say that both strings are the same in this message you can say that both strings are not seen this is very interesting program for beginners enter DB 0 a H and 0 DH dollar sign and str 1 DB so we are going to declare six digit string and duplicate question mark because five characters here we are going to take five characters but the ending character will be this dollar sign so str2 is db six And here is code move x at the rate data move ds ax move ah09 h and after that move dx register is used to offset str1 input interrupt 21h ending point move ah 04ch interrupt 21h and check the basic code after write the end keyword save exit asm nasm and here are the errors because
length of that exit right simple model symbol and save exit so there is no error in obj file exe and all is well so edit now because our program is executed successfully so after that we are going to take input and for this by using loop we can take input move si offset str1 move cx5 input one move ah zero one h i think this is clear for you guys si and then compare AL with 0 DH and jump F equal so jump F equal and so where to jump level 1 so otherwise increment in SI and here loop input 1 so after that level 1 is here jumping point and move dollar sign into BL register and then move this dollar sign into SI string so BL so like this way so our first input is completed successfully and for second same process copy 8 control plus C and then control plus V to paste it here and just str2 input first of all display the message str2 and then take input for str2 same and here level 2 also the loop name will be changed to level 2 and the code is same so like the code is same so first of all we are going to use di register in it because or we can use SI also and save it exit mesm link exe file two strings now edit the program and here so we can also use di register here instead of si destination index and after that 
we are going to copy and paste enter so for this where is the enter so copy and here display the enter now after that simply move si offset str1 move di offset str2 so move cx5 and now we are going to implement compare loop and that is move al si compare two values the al and di and here is the important point that is we do not compare two directly two values directly so one is register and the one is the array element so jump if not equal in only condition same not same one otherwise increment in si increment in di and now call the loop compare and move a h zero nine h move d x offset same in twenty one h so and here jump quit and otherwise here quit we are using quit jump here and here two times because if character or string is not matched then the control goes here name s n same not same one and this statement will be skipped so there is no calling point for this quit so that's why we are using here jump quit and here you are going to display a message and same and save the program exit mazam there is no error good sign exe fahe fahe both strings are not same so what will be happen here link exe f f edit and here sorry for that also change di here di here and increment in di so save it exit mazen link obj one two three four five one two three four five both strings are same and exe one two one two both strings are same and one three one two both strings are not same so thank you for watching this course